Amy Chua, Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother. Dive into the world of Amy Chua's Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother, a book that dissects the stark differences between Chinese and Western parenting styles. The topics covered in this summary revolve around three aspects, building self-esteem, a child's obligation to parents, and decision-making. Discover how Chinese parents focus on inner strength and expect children to owe them, while Western parents prioritize self-esteem and their children's freedom to choose. East versus West, Parenting Perspectives The contrasting parenting styles between Chinese and Western parents stem from their differing values and beliefs regarding self-esteem, gratitude, and decision-making. While Western parents prioritize their children's self-esteem, Chinese parents emphasize inner strength and resilience. Chinese children are expected to repay their parents' sacrifices through success and making them proud, whereas Western parents believe that providing for their children is their own responsibility. Chinese parents also take charge of their children's activities, focusing on pursuits that ensure achievements and accolades, unlike Western parents who allow their children more freedom in choosing their interests. Embracing struggles for growth Western parents often focus on their children's self-esteem and encourage them to pursue their passions, while Chinese parents prioritize strengthening their child's weaknesses and preparing them for future success. This difference in parenting style stems from Chinese parents' belief that children should be constantly improving in areas where they are lacking. By persevering through challenges rather than avoiding them, a child effectively learns valuable life skills. Chinese parents also take a more authoritative role in decision-making, often seen as limiting freedom. However, this approach can lead to gratitude and success, as exemplified by the author's own experiences. The Tiger Mother's Paradox Contrary to popular belief, happiness among children raised in strict households actually emerges from their parents' unwavering guidance and dedication in pushing them to excel. Amy Chua, raised by uncompromising Chinese parents, recounts that she was genuinely happy during her childhood. Chinese parents firmly believe that in order for children to enjoy an activity, they must first become proficient in it. This mastery often requires intense practice and perseverance, which tiger moms and dads rigorously enforce. For example, when Sophia, Amy's daughter, began learning piano, every exercise was challenging, but Amy ensured her daughter practiced three hours daily. As Sophia's skill grew, so did her recognition, boosting her confidence and making the piano more enjoyable. This consequently made it easier for Amy to encourage her daughter to continue practicing. Surprisingly, despite not prioritizing happiness, children raised in such strict environments often report they are content and appreciative of their parents' support. When comparing Chinese households to Western ones, Western families seem to face a higher rate of breakdowns despite their more flexible schedules and frequent focus on happiness. Some Western children even find it unbearable to be around their parents, whereas Asian children typically express gratitude and happiness. In conclusion, happiness in children may not necessarily come from prioritizing it but rather from instilling the values of hard work, perseverance, and mastery. This unique approach, exemplified by Chinese parenting, paves the way for satisfied and appreciative children. Unapologetic Parenting, East versus West Western parents may label themselves strict by encouraging daily practice or being tactful about weight, however, for Chinese parents, such as a tiger mother, this barely scratches the surface. They straightforwardly address issues and expect top academic achievements while openly comparing their children with others. Amy Chua, the author, grew up with these expectations and never considered them toxic, since she forged her own success. In the Eastern parenting realm, an hour of daily piano practice is only a warm-up, and directness with children is the norm. Chinese parents don't shy away from telling their child to lose weight, for example. Despite Western attempts at a more tactful approach, children in both cultures face similar issues like eating disorders and negative self-image. Academically, Eastern parents like Amy Chua demand straight as, whereas Western counterparts simply encourage their children to do their best. 
By setting high expectations, Chinese parents like Chua are confident in their children's capabilities and communicate without sugarcoating. This differs from Western parents who might struggle with feelings of disappointment in their children's accomplishments. Surprisingly, for many Chinese parents, openly comparing their children with others and showing favoritism is common. Amy Chua experienced this but never considered it as damaging. Her success, despite comparisons, might explain her unwavering belief in her upbringing approach. Generational Shifts in Success Amy Chua examines the evolution of Chinese immigrant generations in America and anticipates a decline in success for the youngest members. The first generation of Chinese immigrants, including Chua's parents, struggled and worked hard to secure a prosperous future for their children, prioritizing education and strict financial discipline. This dedication allowed the second generation, Chua's peers, to excel academically and professionally, while also adopting a slightly more lenient approach towards parenting and financial matters. However, Chua believes the latest generation, including her own children, will experience a decline due to being born into comfortable circumstances and having greater individual rights protected by the U.S. Constitution. These factors lead to a higher likelihood of disobedience and a shift away from the rigorous standards established by their grandparents. The current generation may attend private schools and receive rewards for average performance, which is a departure from the previous generation's values. Chua sees these changes in behavior as signs of potential decline for this generation of Chinese immigrants. In conclusion, Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother presents readers with an in-depth look at the contrasting approaches of Chinese and Western parenting. Key takeaways include the Chinese belief in nurturing inner strength and perseverance, the idea that children owe their parents for their sacrifices, and the emphasis on preparing them for a successful future. On the other hand, Western parents opt for boosting self-esteem, fostering individual choice, and promoting a more open and flexible environment. Despite these variations, both parenting styles have their merits and demerits, and it's up to each reader to gather their own insights from Amy Chua's compelling work.